Well, public health officials are concerned about a 35% spike nationwide in new cases of COVID in recent weeks. With hospitalizations also on the rise, the upper Midwest is seeing the largest surges. Liz Collin has the latest from Minneapolis where cases are going up. It's unprecedented. Um, I have never seen so many people on a ventilator at one time. Dr. Joshua Hilster is a critical care physician at Abbott Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis. His ICU is full. The hospital system has nearly 330 COVID patients. Most of the 66 ICU COVID patients are on ventilators. What's behind this rise? Without a doubt, it's the lack of, of vaccination. The vast majority of patients that we see in the ICU are not vaccinated. COVID cases in Minnesota are up nearly 50% in the last week compared to the week before. Hospital admissions increased 24%, with the largest increase among those 30 to 49. Susan Rutten spent a week in a rural Minnesota hospital. She is unvaccinated. I feel bad taking up a bed <laughs> if somebody needs it worse than I do. She's now home and plans to be vaccinated. Tonight, as cases rise nationwide, CBS News has learned the FDA is considering authorizing boosters for all adults for both Pfizer and Moderna as soon as today. But 31% of the country is still unvaccinated. What will happen if people remain resistant to be vaccinated? The message has to be loud and clear. You can't run out the game clock on this one. This virus will find you. How you doing? Back in the ICU, Dr. Hilster worries about the toll more COVID cases will take, not only on patients, but on the staff that care for them. I'm not angry at people who don't get vaccinated. Some of my colleagues get very angry about it. I'm not angry about it. I'm disappointed. There are enough beds in this hospital to care for more people, but not enough staff, and it could get worse. Dr. Anthony Fauci says there's been an uptick in the number of hospitalized people who are vaccinated and not yet boosted. And this hospital already has longer ER wait times. Liz Collin, CBS News, Minneapolis.